We start tonight with the latest on the Davis stabbing suspect. Here's what we know. The former UC Davis student accused of stabbing three people and killing two of them was back in court today as they try to determine if he's even competent to stand trial. Today, Carlos Dominguez's former friends and roommates took the stand. ABC 10's Alicia Machado was inside the Yolo County courtroom for a second straight day. Alicia, tell us what you learned. Yeah, Laura, that's right. Uh, the jury heard from a few friends and former roommates of Dominguez. Friends described him as being a quiet, reserved person, but they say over time he started isolating himself from roommates and changed the way that he walked. Roommates also said that they held a meeting where they expressed their concerns about Dominguez potentially being mentally ill. The jury heard from one of them, Sydney C Celeski, a friend of Dominguez who last saw him the day before he was arrested. He said Dominguez was coming out of the house, staring out into dead space and walking in an odd manner. Here's what he and a former roommate had to say. I go out to I go out to basically say like, hey, be careful out there. There was another stabbing like a little bit ago. Like, I don't think you should be like walking around. Did he acknowledge you? He didn't acknowledge me. He did not even look at me. He asked me if him saying if I heard anything uh, just in my head. Uh, I didn't really think much of it. I just gave him some advice. The jury also heard from two mental health professionals who have been assessing Dominguez during his time as an inmate at the Yolo County Jail. One mentioned that Dominguez was placed on suicide watch because he seemed withdrawn, couldn't take care of himself, and sometimes wouldn't eat. They also said Dominguez exhibited signs of mental illness and was given antipsychotic medication. Mr. Dominguez presented with bizarre posture. He was very rigid in the way that he was standing. Typically guarded, short, yes or no answers. But prosecutors say Dominguez never told clinicians that he was hearing voices or seeing things and never refused to go to court. According to Gutierrez, Dominguez never acknowledged symptoms of mental illness when asked, but he was never taken off of suicide watch due to concerns with his behavior. Now, the only purpose of this trial is to determine whether or not uh, Dominguez is competent in order to stand trial. And this trial will resume tomorrow where we are expected to hear from more witnesses. Well, we'll be following it closely and have updates on air and online on our website, abc10.com. Alicia Machado, thank you for that update.